Welcome back to the Booze Buddy Update for Thursday, February 24th, 2022. It's brought to you by The Real Voice, Mel Allen, providing voiceover for commercials, podcasts, explainer videos, and more samples and demos at therealvoice.com. Well, Dogfish Head has another spirits release out, the 90 Proof, let me see if I can say this all in one breath, Alternate Takes Volume 3 Whiskey Finished in Apple Brandy and Apple Cider Barrels. It's distilled from 100% pale malt. It's finished for 36 plus months in freshly emptied Dogfish Head American Oak Apple Brandy Barrels and French Oak Apple Cider Barrels that they got from Angry Orchard. So definitely some of the sharing that we expected with the Boston Beer Merger. It's on shelves in some Delaware, Maryland, and D.C. locations. It's also headed to New Jersey and Washington. And later this spring, you can also expect to find it on shelves across New York. As this one works its way onto those shelves, more Dogfish Head Spirits are expected to go into distribution too. And you can read more about that in the link to the press release that is uh, in the show notes. Well, wine's portrayal on TV is changing, which is a good thing considering today's wine drinkers, makers, and influence are a pretty diverse group of individuals. Well, the wine space is evolving in pulp culture too now on shows like NBC's Grand Crew, Hulu's Promised Land, and OWN's The Kings of Napa. The shows may not be the greatest place to go for wine education and information, but hey, you take a W where you can. The two shows are all running now, and hopefully, if nothing else, it'll be good to see people making and enjoying wine and perhaps fighting and getting a little dramatic over it, too, who look a lot more like today's audience. Uh, you can check out the link to that story in the show notes as well. And one thing's for sure, Hill Farmstead's Edward is popular in Vermont, but there are other beers that are popular here, too. Don't forget, this is also the region that created the Alchemist's Heady Topper, though I prefer Vocal Banger more. Shh, don't tell anyone. It is tough living in a place that's been called the home of the best beers in the world. Okay, only when I travel to a place with a lot of less than stellar beers, which thankfully, it's actually becoming harder. Lots of places I've made regular stops at Crown Sean Hill and Company as the king of the land, though, including Three Penny Tap Room, Kingdom Tap Room, Blackback Pub, and if you're there, you gotta try their nachos. They will blow you away and the Worthy Group made up of Worthy Burger, Worthy Kitchen, and Worthy Burger 2. And you can get the link to that story again in the show notes. Coming up, more Booze Buddy Update. Another round interviews have been scheduled, so hopefully the lull between episodes will be pretty short-lived. And remember, don't drink and drive. Stay safe, drive sober, and support the booze that supports your local community. And check the notes for the ways that you can find me online, including website, social media, etc. See you again next time.